what role do you see men playing in the ACTC world as we're talking about men? Um, and specifically, how can men become sponsors, advocates, supporters of women in this emerging new world of work? Yeah. So I think a lot about, um, and and I'm, I bet that Sonia does as well, about what's going to be happening within workplaces in terms of um, uh, how uh, different generations of, of individuals in workplaces become enabling. So let, let me make this a little bit um, uh, more concrete. So let's say that we have a workplace that wants to be very gender neutral, that wants to make certain that everyone succeeds as, as best they can. Uh, and recognizes the fact that there are um, care responsibilities. Well, uh, that workplace uh, would be very, very good to say to the younger men, you uh, should take time off just in the same way that women take time off. So so in some sense, the 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 workplace is attempting to change the social norms. That's that's very, very good, but it doesn't get around a problem of generations. In that workplace are older men, and they may not even be that old. So let's not think about the grumpy older ones that that are all ready to retire, who themselves never took the time off. Mm -hmm. The person who took care of their kids mm -hmm. was their wife. Mm -hmm. And so suddenly they're realizing that that they're in a workplace, which we might think of as a community, in which we're asked to share. And they might say, oh, but um, I don't want to take Joe's you know, clients mm -hmm. because um, I have my own clients. So it's sort of like the following in school districts, we pay taxes whether we have our kids in the school or not. And the reason we do that is because we're there with a group of other generations, young generations who are poorer than we. They will at some point become older. They will pay taxes and support the younger person's kids. The big issue here in terms of how to make the workplace better for both men and women is to have strong leadership to tell the older generations that in fact this is a new normal this is going to be very hard one of the things that i think you know what you're saying about people not wanting to share one of the things that kind of comes into contrast with that is that Whenever we hear people talking about a four-day work week or a three-day work week, people are really excited about that prospect, right? I think fundamentally people are on board with the idea of working less. But there's something about this idea of sharing, right, of having the substitu substitutability that is kind of off-putting and people aren't as excited about that, right, about the flex time or shared work or, you know, job sharing kind of an arrangement. And so that messaging, like you're saying, that's coming from companies around what that means and who's eligible to take it and who should be taking it um, is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm.